Hi guys, this is uh, Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to my channel. Um, good to see you all again. Um, just having a catch up really. So, where are we? Got a load of figures stuff sorted out. Gonna put some video together for that. And we've got a lot of the build done on the ambulance itself and um, got to do some weathering on it but I'll give you a catch up on that so first of all let's get over to the bench and we'll have a look at the figures first of all so the first figure that um, we're going to concentrate on is the sister Diana Murdoch figure um, played by Sylvia Sims in the film the hard part is to find a female figure in uniform um, that is appropriate now I've, I've looked at all sorts of figures and, and master box do a whole range of women at war but they're all they all seem to be based around civilian women and, and not military women and this is the only figure that actually is is a, a military style figure this one and that one now this is too flouncy this figure for for what i want so i've concentrated on this so what i've done i've actually got the torso from this figure but of course in the film um diana murdoch sister murdoch is is predominantly in, in, in pretty much our whole film is wearing slacks so what I did was I took the torso of that and the legs of this this chap here this officer figure um, so it, it's part 31 and 32 out of, the, out of the spruce it's those two legs there and the torso of this one which is part 5 there so taking those two as the basis of what I want. Now the other the other thing that you notice from this figure is that that the arms, you know, she's carrying a, a shoulder bag and, and that, that arm's okay. Well that arm's okay, but um, shoulder bag I don't really need. So <coughs> The other thing that I'll, I'll use is the head. Now, it's got two parts of the head. It's got part four and part three. Part four is the head with this little cap. And part three is the hair at the back of the head, hairdo. So the back of the cap has got the hair. So that's where I started from. So let's move on to where I've got to with the figure. So what I've done, let's get this into into shot, is I've taken, as I say, I've taken the, the torso and of one figure and the legs of another. Now in the master box kit, let's try and get that, try and get that to focus. It's a bugger in it. Um yeah, so the trousers, obviously the guys wearing them. What I did was I got the two the two leg halves together um, and got those stuck and then I've got the, the torso and actually it fits the tops of those legs. So it's actually quite a good fit. The other, the other thing was these are sort of dress trousers. So that needs to be changed because the, in the film she's wearing sort of combat type trousers or overalls or some coverall of some description. <clears throat> so I'm going to do some work on that the other thing there's trousers that, that I think she had on had side pockets so I've had to create side pockets here I don't know if this is let's try and bring this out a little bit and see if it will it will come back into focus but um, yeah it's uh, try and get get it to sort of focus properly but it, it's um, yeah 
awkward. I need to probably reshoot this. So as you can see from this, I've taken the taken the uh, the legs and the torso, and proportionally they look pretty good. Now, obviously, the trousers, which were dress trousers, um, they've got to have some more creases and things like that in them because uh, the character in the film is wearing sort of like combat coverall type trousers um, and also there's um, the trousers had side pockets uh, from pictures I've seen so I've had to create side pockets so to do that I've put some 10 thou plastic card in, in place stuck that onto the trousers in the appropriate positions and then um, filled and filed and all, all of that the rest of that sort of stuff um, also the the shirt on this particular figure um, let me get the pointy bit um, this particular sort of blouse on top um, had a shirt and tie here so I've had to take the carve that out and then I've refilled it and then the the top here had a had a sort of badge thing there so that's had to oh, that's straight that off and also this has got uh, the pockets on the original figure um, they've got like a, a banding down there and a banding down there and a, the sort of a pointed sort of flap on the pocket so they've had to be re-sculpted um, so I've got that now so that the, the figures not overly busty um, it, it, it's you know it's got 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 a um, the carving done so that it's got an appropriate sort of look to it well moving on from uh, Sylvia Sims and uh, sister Diana Murdoch let's have a look at uh, Van der Poel um, he's the South African guy played by Anthony Quayle um, and in the in the film um, He's forever disappearing at a certain time of night with a shovel out into the desert. And anybody that's been out while camping, you'll know if somebody disappears in the night with a shovel, they're probably gone for uh, to go to the toilet or something. But he kept disappearing um, and he kept taking a, a fairly heavy uh, rucksack with him. So I've got um, this figure mopped up um, with the with the shovel. Um, he's got the, the rucksack and we've got to put the straps on and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm very careful not to give away the storyline because I want you guys to go out there and watch the film because then you'll see why it's such an iconic film. But that's, uh, that's my character, uh, that's my figure of uh, uh, Van der Poel. So that's Anthony Quayle. Um, the next figure is... The, this is Harry Andrews, this is uh, the uh, Tom Pugh, who was the mechanic sergeant major, he was like the, the top mechanic in, in, the, in the unit, um, and they got, you know, they got the service corps actually promoted them to sergeant major, so they're quite, quite important, almost like a, the, the top foreman in a factory, if you like, but um, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a bit unsure with arms at the moment i've got one arm there that that i'm quite happy with and uh the the msm um actually had a wristband with with his warrant because he was a you know warrant officer so he was he had a warrant which was like a metal badge on a leather strap around his wrist so i've actually added that detail in there uh, and I've mopped up one arm uh, and that's his head here yeah, throughout the film he always wore a, uh, an officer's cap which is right um, he would have done and being a, a sort of uh, you know mechanic sergeant major he, was very, he would have been a, a stickler for the rules and regulations but I'm not sure about the other arm I've got one arm but I'm, it's not I'm not happy with it I, I've got to find a different arm uh, to use as a as a basis of his left arm so that that's that's mr pew as he's known um and finally the character of john mills um who was uh, playing captain An anson um in the film 
So I've got this sort of figure here. I've got him sort of bending over. Um, the arms that I've got for the figure um, are, are sort of coming together. Uh, and where are they? I've got them. I've got them here, but I haven't mopped them up yet. Um, but I've got these these two arms, which I'm going to use to have him sort of holding holding a map. Um, because in the film he was the one who knew the route uh, and he had a map so I, I thought right what I'll do is I'll, I'll have him sort of looking down holding a map um, so that that's that and I've got the head uh, and this is one of the hornet heads so this is in the film he, he even though he's the officer he doesn't often wear his his officer's hat so I've just got to fit this resin hat hat resin head onto the body so that's that's sort of uh, captain anson so um all of the figures are coming on really well so i'm quite pleased with that um managing to f go through all my stash of old figures and stuff like that to to find suitable parts and things that i can use for the figures but they're going to come on really well so the next the next step is to probably get the full figures mounted and, and arms fitted and all that other good stuff and then and give them a coat of undercoat or, or a coat of primer uh, just to make sure that I've covered all the covered everything up or you know dealt with all the seams and that sort of thing and, and, and have a look at those so the next stage is I'm going to go off and complete putting the figures together and give them a shot of primer with black primer and and then we'll see how they look so i'll be back in a minute for you uh for me probably a day or so but uh I'll be back in a second okay so we uh moving on from the figures i've now actually given them a whole coat of uh, gray primer and the reason that i've done that is i just wanted to see where there was additional sort of sculpting that I needed to do that sort of thing uh, and for example on this one uh, this is the nurse I noticed that uh, the shoulder here uh, that join there needs some work so it, this, that's the reason for doing the sort of grey primer um, this is uh, Master, uh, Mechanic Sergeant Major um, Pugh and gave him a a coat of grey primer as well um, still not decided on that arm um, and also I need to do a little bit of work on this, this shoulder here um, not entirely happy with that at the moment but uh, he's sort of coming out okay and by giving it a spray coat of, of the grey primer I notice there's a little bit of a of strap marking there on, on his back so I need to need to do some work on that so it's, it, this is a good exercise just you know midway through the build as it were so with the figure this one here the reason that he's in this sort of like with the head tilted back a bit I'm going to have him actually climbing up um, a sand dune so he, he's sort of going up, up up and over so he'll he'll be in that sort of like going up the hill um, and again looking at this one just needed to d need to do a little bit more work on his back uh, and get some of these marks away and sanding marks away and finally looking at uh, uh, Captain Anson uh, this is this needs a little bit more work um, quite happy with it so far um, but it just needs a bit more tidying up so that, that's the reason for doing doing that so in the next video i should have a bit more done on, on those figures but it's a it's a lot of work which uh, quite a few of you actually said you know i've, I've actually taken on quite a lot of, lot of work on that so it's quite in, it's interesting though um it's it's something that i haven't done before so that's that's pretty cool but let's move on to the ambulance and we'll have a look at that right so uh yeah <laughs> Here's the actual uh, ambulance itself. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, the sides are now in place, and uh, it's all look starting to come together really well. 
um, I did um, mask and spray the uh, Red Cross symbols on there um, and the reason for that was I wanted to um, make them more um, like part of the the, the vehicle um, I've got to actually do a little bit of dressing around around the, the actual circles um, but they're done um, the the tab roof is done that, that's all done as are the rear doors and, and one of the reasons that I wanted to do <laughs> sorry I could just got a bit of, bit of blue tack on that one um, the reason that I wanted to uh, get the, the rear doors painted as opposed to using the decals was getting the separation across the doors like that um, so what I've done what I did was actually measure it up and paint it and get, get the doors get the doors painted separately or, or actually got them painted together but separately if you know what I mean um, and also the roof because the roof was uh, quite an odd thing because of the vents and stuff um, I decided to paint paint those paint that in, in situ as well um, just just to make it look a, a little bit different from decals um, I, I try and do painting of, of signs and stuff if I can uh, but that's that's where we are with that um, all of the body panels which I'm <laughs> just getting off, getting off the, the stands um, all of the body panels um, have been given a coat of, of gloss varnish um, to seal everything and then I'll give them the weathering effect over that and also the in internal door between the cab and the rear section of the ambulance I've, I've given that a gloss coat as well and that means I can do the do a nice wash on there or or some pin wash or whatever but <clears throat> that's where we are that's where we are with the ambulance so we're, we're quite quite a way of through that um, over the next uh, few hours I'll put put the roof on and and get the internal stuff sorted out you may may wonder let me get the get me the stand back right so you may wonder why um, what I've done in this particular instance is I've done I lowered that that side and that side's up and you'll notice that under, underneath there there's six um, jerry cans um, in the film they stop at a depot and load up with jerry cans uh, of fuel so they can make the journey um, so I just uh, I just put the, the jerry cans in there um, there's, there's extra cranking handles I've got to put on but all of these all of the little things that are going to get broken um, I tend to tend to try and leave till last um, like the, the clamp there for for the spare wheel um, unfortunately that broke um, and that will have to be put together once I've got the spare wheel in place um, I'll have to put the, the side, this side panel on and then we'll put the spare wheel in place and then we'll put the clamp on um, and then that will hopefully save it from getting broken um, so yeah that's where we are with the ambulance um, I've put this so I think I think that's good so far and I'm working on just done these let's uh, let's get me pointy stick now these are the the sand mats um, and I've uh, made these with uh, strips of evergreen with a 
So they're strips of evergreen in between two two pieces of paper and then some masking tape around them to have a band that ties them together. Just waiting for the other one to, to set. And uh, this isn't my idea, by the way. That's not my idea. Um, I've got to put my hands up and say it's an idea that I, I watched on... Um, <coughs> God, throat's going again. Um, on Gary's stuff, um, he he did a, a build uh, of the Katie. Um, I think he did it on the the Airfix version, um, but he he did that he did those as well. So um, I followed the idea that he he presented on his on his channel. I'll put a link to his channel below. Um, well worth a look. He does some really nice work. So. Anyway, moving swiftly on, we should get on and do some more work and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.